Hey guys, Flight Magic 57 here with a Guardian Angel Light. These are definitely getting popular amongst first responders in our communities. But you know, pilots really need to get a hold of these. They are incredibly useful uh, while flying. So we're going to do a quick review on these and uh, you guys uh, can make your own decision. So just hang tight. I'm going that way, I'm going that way, I'm going that way. And Jesus the Savior I adore, is with me each day, is with me each day. I'm clinging to All right, so we got this up on the dash here of the uh, 172. Lights are going. Boy, if you had an off-field landing, they are going to see that and see that good. You can also set that to the SOS distress signal. Go ahead and just throw it up on the window there. They're going to see you for miles, according to uh, Guardian Angel's website. I believe it's three to five miles at night. Um, let's say you got an off-field landing. It's night. You're otherwise okay. You get out and just set that on top of your wing. Get those lights flashing. You're going to have help see you quickly. When you open the door of a Skyhawk, the dome light doesn't come on. It gets pretty dark in there pre-flighting. I set this on the back of the headrest and turn the lights on and look at how bright it is in there. Awesome when you're flying at night and you can see things. Um, you know, we, a lot of these pilots wear these headlights here. Um, I think you look ridiculous. They're going to get caught up in your headset. They fall down. They don't stay. It just doesn't work as good as this guardian angel light. It comes with a mount you put under the shirt, magnets right to your shoulder, and the light is a wide angle. It's not just a little dot of light. You cycle through it and it shuts off. Um, also to help keep your night vision, you do have the red light to help light up the panel while you're flying. It just works better. It's great, it's awesome. Pre-flighting, always have a good light. Look at that, I can check the brake pads, the brake area for any leakage. And then looking in the cowling and making sure there's no birds or anything living in the engine compartment. Boy, you're going to see just great with these. It is so bright and they last for hours. How to use it, you can put the front half of the light bar on. Keep the back off so you don't blind yourself. And then you just push the button to turn on the back. Or you can push the big top button for all of them. The top light then included. Push it again to kind of put it in your emergency flashing light bar mode and then just push the button to turn it off. You see how that turns it on. Multiple light settings for brightness and then boom, right away to your red light, which is again also susceptible to your uh, light adjustment there. Um, so yep, just go right to the top of that button and it'll turn on. It's super easy. You don't even have to look at it. And then you just flip it off. You just turn it off. All right, so we're gonna turn on the front. It can then flash or have like a little arrow stick here to help with that. And then independently, the back does the same thing. You can run these independent of each other. Comes with a super strong magnet. That's what you get in the box. And it's padded on the bottom there. So you try and pry these apart. Look at that, look at how strong this magnet is. And you can stick that light to anything. Anything that's metal, it'll stick to on the bottom there and uh, watch how strong this bait just sucks it right in. So that's the Guardian Angel Light. Hope you guys like it.